Today, we're gonna to be doing a review on the Omni's hookah, cheapest hookah on Amazon.com, and uh, is Pipe Dream Hookah, we're gonna do what we always do, and we're gonna break this down, open it up. It's already been open, that's why, that's why it makes that sound. We're gonna smoke it, and we're gonna tell you whether or not you're supposed to buy this thing. That's how we're supposed to do review videos, right? So, let's go to the other room, and look at this hookah. Ah. Cheapest hookah on Amazon. I think it's like $15, but it, I'll tell you what it is in some like annotation here if I'm wrong. It's just called the On This Hookah. Picked it up on Amazon for whatever that price was. And today I wanna go over what the fuck $15 will get you from Amazon.com. So we're gonna get into this box. Spoiler alert, it has already been opened because I bought this six months ago for this review and haven't done it yet. So this unboxing is going to be exactly as graceful as I'm sure you hoped it would be. So let's see here, going off of other subpar, I mean, other hookah reviews, we've got the uh, hookah, what do they call this normally? The cup, the vase, this is your hookah cup, or your bowl, it's made of a high quality, not thin at all, ceramic material. We've got your little grommet, these little grommets are actually pretty sweet, this is like something I really need, I need more of these mod grommets to hold my bowls down. For, you know, these are kind of hard to find for some reason. Everyone's got the Egyptian grommets. We got this this guy right here. I've got no clue what this is for or what it does yet. We got another rubber thing. Rubber thing number three. We've got three rubbers, which is three more than I usually need. Oh yeah. We have the actual stem of the hookah with what appears to be a down stem that may detach for reasons that I could not be, I, I have no clue why this comes off. So we're gonna put it right back on and let's take a quick look inside these ports and see, I don't know if you can see this. There's no way you can see in there. Well, look, one second. Actually, if I, if I do this, so the light's really bright and then kind of show you, maybe you can see in there a little bit. Maybe not. It's already rusted, which is a sign of things to come. I think we've got a really good piece of merchandise on our hands. And then we've got our hookah hose and our tray. So first things first, before we can get into anything, we need to put this thing together and see if it even fits together. So here's our long shelf. And we wanna make sure to install a rubber on our shaft because protection first. I don't know, you're supposed to say something about putting rubber on your shaft. I can never remember what that is. And then you're gonna insert the shaft into the hookah flask. And it fits pretty well, so that's a good sign. And then um, we've got, so now I know what this is. This little guy is actually, let me move this forward so you can see a little better. This little, little, little boy right here is going to screw onto this. I would imagine after we've already put our little tray on, which is gonna hold plenty of coals. And then this must be the hose rubber, the little hose condom, goes right there like that. And then the hose should, I am terrified to, there's a lot of rust in here already and I have never smoked out of this. This hose is gonna go in right there, boom. So you, so you got something that looks kind of like a hookah right now. And then you got this little rubber right here, which I imagine goes right up top. And then you can screw the hookah cup in. And now we should have a hookah that you might be able to smoke, hold on. Is that rust already? And the draw is restricted. All right, this is a great sign. So now we have our hookah, and I'm gonna give this like a solid, I don't know, five out of seven for looking like a hookah. I can't rate it in any other aspect right now because we have to smoke out of it. I guess the next part before we can break down the hookah review here is we gotta pack this bowl with something and um, we gotta fill this with water and go over to the studio so you guys can watch me review this. Hookah. Okay, time to pack ourselves a hookah cup. For any of you guys who are maybe aren't as familiar with packing hookah bowls, this is exactly as easy as it looks. You take some of your, today we're gonna be packing alfacher two apples and alfacher mint. So it's gonna taste like minty apple juice. So you're gonna take some of the uh, alfacher mint and just put it in the bowl like so. And I like to do maybe like a third mint with my double apple. So we're gonna do that. Then we can get rid of this right now. And then boop, get our alfacher two apples and fill the rest of the bowl. And this bowl has a good capacity. There you go, you can see that quite a bit better like that, can't you? And you wanna break it up, keep it nice and loose, and something like that will probably suffice. We'll readjust that. I'm gonna wash my hand, it's covered in 
What's that look like? Now we have our foil poker. And for those of you who aren't familiar with this old technique, we're going to uh, do this. We're gonna take our foil poker and we're gonna adjust the leaves so they sit just at rim level. Kind of push them around. Don't add any density. You don't wouldn't want this session to be ruined just because we uh, messed up the bowl pack, right? I mean, that would be garbage. That would be no good. So now we've got the bowl packed about that height. That should be pretty good. I don't know that this is gonna draw very well because of the size of the holes in the bottom. So we'll go ahead and take this and just make ourselves a little circle right there for some airflow that will probably help a little bit if nothing else. And now on to the foiling part. For anyone who's wondering, this hookah cup bowl weighs roughly, oh, I don't know, like a gram. So we grab some foil, we're gonna split this in half, make it just the right size for our little Omnis Hookah Egyptian Turkish Egyptian bowl. Put our foil on top, get it nice and drum tight, because you know, you wouldn't want any foil drag. That would ruin our session. Now once you have it nice and drum tight like so, we wanna poke some holes. And since this is an Egyptian style bowl, we'll go just all the way around the bowl. No big deal, not a problem. There we go, and then we'll get some in here and just spiral our way to the middle of the bowl. Add a few other ones where it looks like we didn't get it. Maybe here, 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 I don't know. Something like that. That's what a whole penetrator look like, flip it over. Give it a blow, there's some airflow. That's pretty good. And then um, I guess we should probably fill our hookah base with, uh, what do you put in there? Water. Yeah, those poles are lighting up just fine. I think we might not need all three of those. Okay, so how much water do we need in this? I have no clue. We got some pink shit in the sink, maybe like, Something like that. Hopefully the downstem goes into that. Let's even find out if it does. Um, well, it should. Okay, look there. So I put it in there and just fucking push it down and let's see if it looks kind of like milk because there is definitely cancer in my tap water. This hookah draws. <laughs> yeah, just like that. There's gonna be a lot of fucking room for unused coals in that tray. Okay, okay, we got three titanium flats, of which I think we'll probably need one to two of them. This is a very small hookah cup. And then because we were provided a tray, we will just put our coal right in there. You could honestly probably get like five coals on this tray. That does not look good for the health of the bowl. Yeah, okay, that looks about right. Here we are in the studio. This is not a Mia. Where did I put the box? I think the name of this hookah is the Omnis. And let's go ahead and smoke out of it for a little bit. Does this thing have a ball bearing? That's a question in my mind. That's, it had a ball bearing. I found it's a little fucker too. I don't even know how. Okay, it looks like there's enough room for it to lift up out of there. Why is there, there is rust inside of here. So that's a good sign. Good thing I don't have health insurance. So when I get rust in my lungs, I can die. Okay, so we've got our coals on, we've got our sweet hose, and this is our um, $15 Amazon on this hookah. Let's take the first draw of this double apple with mint. Hey, if you want to check out my review on Alfacker Double Apple, there's the link in the description. So make sure to creep on down there and click on that link and give me all that ad revenue. I don't have ads, all the watch time. There is a flavor in this double apple that I've never had before. I'm having trouble making out exactly what it is. It's roughly, it's metallic, almost like rust. The purge valve, however, does function. These clouds are among some of the best we've ever gotten on Pipe Dream Hookah, so that should say something. Yep, there's definitely a rust flavor, and I think that's because when I ordered this, it came in the box and I opened it up and the first thing I saw was that the valves were already rusted, which is something you can expect when you spend $15 on a luxury item like a hookah. Oh, that's that can't be good. Probably gonna burn my house down. All right, that tells me what I need to know. Pros of this beautiful setup we have here. You get an added flavor when you're smoking your hookah. Instead of just double apple with mint, I'm getting double apple mint and um, iron mixed with water, which is a very good flavor or whatever this is that's rusting. I'm not sure exactly what this is made of. I don't think my uh, I don't think my pamphlet inside of the uh, box told me exactly what it was. And uh, what are some other upsides? It's very small, it's a good travel hookah. And um... <laughs> all right, I, I give up. This is a fucking PSA, because I live over here in Dearborn, Michigan, where hookah is kind of fucking everywhere. 
and people like buy these gas station hookahs and they try to smoke out of them and then like they either there's two types of people there's people who are smart and they smoke out of them and go this seems bad it seems like I might die soon and um, there's people who smoke out of it and go this seems great because they don't have any comparison and this is like this would be the difference between like anyone in here is a cigar aficionado you like to smoke a big Cubano big Nicaraguan figurado it, the difference between something like this and a proper I don't fucking know uh, can you even see this is a matte pair this is a fucking nice Russian hookah it is like the difference between a Swisher sweet or black and mild and like a fucking a, a, a nice Cuban or a nice Nicaraguan like fucking badass cigar I don't know shit about cigars but um stop buying these these do not work very well um they rust out of the box they're gonna kill you really fast and um, this bowl is absolute hot garbage. Given I spent $15 on this hookah, don't ever spend $15 on a hookah. $15 will buy you a decent bowl. $15 will sometimes buy you a good base. $15 will buy you a good hose. $15 will not buy you a hookah. Please stop buying $15 hookahs. If you want to buy a sweet hookah setup, I've got a little something for you in the description below. It's a KM. You can buy it. I think the guys I'm going to go with are the guys over at Five Star. It's just a little link because I think it's either it's either Five Star or Hookah John. One of those two does like the full KM setups and that's where you should start because these hookahs are absolutely fucking atrocious and I know people who pick these up all the time. They're like, hey man, I'm going to come smoke hookah and they show up to my house with this bullshit and then they're not allowed over ever again and they, I delete their number from my contact because this is not okay um, on the, a little bit about the bowl we all talk about in the enthusiast community that we talk about bowls I, I think we got little tongs with this hookah as well maybe we didn't I'm gonna take these off this little bowl is very bad it's made of ceramic it's thin walled it's very bad I don't like it you shouldn't like it it's gonna burn your tobacco you're gonna have a really shitty session can I even touch this nope it's already way too fucking hot to touch don't buy this hookah hey guys Thank you so much for watching. Um, there's some more videos coming out, like probably today, for anyone who knows about the series I got going on. So look forward to those. And uh, happy smoking. Oh.